All right, so just one of the biggest things that I see uh, with this water ball swings is um, it's actually how some athletes have been doing it. I could see hurt some of their direction and some of their path. But we talk a lot about decels and the brakes. And while they may be trying to feel that really brace feeling to decelerate their trunk and stop from pulling their shoulder and flying open, that can actually affect how much length their barrel has out front through the middle part of the field and start causing their barrel to go left really early or right if they're a lefty. What I typically see is people, they wanna swing it back and forth with their arms, right? And the, the issue with that is, yes, is I am creating a lot of stability and I'm bracing my middle right which is good but if i if i create so much stability that i don't even rotate well that's a problem right i'm going to lose some of that distance with my barrel that i'm going to get so on like change ups or a pitch that maybe i'm a little early on or let's say a guy comes in throwing five to ten mile an hour slower than the guy before that's going to affect my path where maybe i think it's a timing thing which sure there is a little bit of timing but more than anything it's your your lack of direction uh, through the middle part of the field because i'm cutting my swing off for example what i will see is this a lot of the times Right, and if you think about this like a bat, right, is as I swing this, and as I get to this point, this is a really crucial point, right? If I just create a ton of stability and flex, and then just cause my barrel to go left, keep in mind too, like anything that maybe I'm a little out front on, I'm gonna cap or I'm gonna pull off, right? And I'm not gonna hit super well. When at this point, I can also let my trunk turn a little bit more and look how much more distance I have through the camera or through the pitcher with my barrel or with the water ball, right? So when we're doing these, what I like to cue everybody is like a big chest, right? Is I want to see whatever logos on their chest or see the middle of their chest turn towards the pitcher and turn back too. So I'm actually training my body to stretch both directions and create stability through those end ranges as I rotate away from each side and I get some of that T-spine uh, rotation back and, back and forth. And so what I wanna see is more of this, Right, where you see how much longer my arms are through the middle part of the field. This is a great example of, this is a great tool, but how you're using it is even more important. What you can do is there's a couple things. Uh, one, every water ball that we have comes out with a course, um, and we talk a lot about how to do these drills, why they're important, but this is just a reinforcement. And then another thing is why we come up with the drills that we come up with these tools is because a lot of the, the stuff that we find on like K-Vest and 4D and some of the sequencing from the deceleration to the transitions to uh, how connected we are on our entry on the biomechanics courses. So um, if you guys are interested in anything like that, we got biomechanics courses on Farm Plus. We also have courses that come with every purchase of this product. Make sure you check them out.